what else. I'll let you can do about it. Good morning. It's Monday and I'm just waiting outside our Airbnb for an Uber, my ride to the airport. It's about 8. My flight leaves at 11. I'm really looking forward to getting home. I actually have a really good travel schedule. Um, flying home via Montreal and my flight leaves New York at 11 and I get to Winnipeg at 4.20 and then I drive home. Um, when I get home, I want to be getting up 30 minutes earlier so that I can do some banding and ball work and just have a really nice start to the day. I really like traveling. Traveling's underrated. It's like bonus free time to do whatever you love doing that you don't need to be somewhere specific to do it. Do what you wanna do. A uh, ton of flights are canceled due to weather. And when you see something like this, it's not a good scenario, especially when you have a connection. Oh, it says our flight is now leaving at 2.07, which means I might be able to connect to Winnipeg. Whatever. How much you can do about it. So, I don't know if I should take the risk and try to get some food. That's 2 of 7, though. We just can't meet due to weather. So I'm trying to find a rush. For the love of God, on an Air Canada standby flight to Toronto, which will get us into Winnipeg at 12.35. Um, but I made some cool new friends and we're having dinner. So here's Jennifer. Hi. Jennifer, Jennifer, Brandon, Jasmine. I do too. Jasmine owns a funky restaurant in Winnipeg. Blind Tiger. Go there. Go try it out. You own it? Oh, awesome. So now we're just waiting for the salad. We made it to Toronto. I'm really, really tired. I'm on standby again. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to Winnipeg. I'm almost indifferent at this point either way because if I go to Winnipeg, I think I might get a hotel and stay overnight anyways because we're getting there at 12.30 if I do get there, if I do get on this flight. And then if I stay here, I'll fly in tomorrow. I don't know if that makes sense for the day or the journey started really early this morning. I think it was like, well, my flight was supposed to leave at 11 a.m. So I left the Airbnb at 8 a.m. It's 10 p.m. and I'm still a minimum of seven hours away from home. <laughs> 